We know social connections are critically important to our well-being, and boy, did we learn that in the pandemic. Absolutely true. And we've heard that the single most important factor for a quality relationship is communication. But that doesn't mean just being able to express your thoughts and feelings. Probably more important is your ability to listen, to really listen to someone and try to understand their point of view. Yeah, so back with some helpful tips is our life coach, Marlene Boaz. And Marlene, we love it when you're here. Thank you. And, and you call this listening to understand. That's right. All right, so what does that mean? What's the distinction there? Well, so often we just listen to either affirm our point of view. Yes. Mm -hmm or just to look like we're listening, you know, and but we're not really listening. You know, we, we look like we're engaged, right. but we're really not attentive and really trying to understand the other person's point of view. So you're either listening, you say, with intention, clarity, and curiosity, or uh, with fear, judgment, and assumptions. Mm -hmm. Well, I like what you just said about sometimes you're listening, people listen to have their own point of view backed up. And if you're not backing up my point of view, I may continue to nod at you, but I've shut off, right? Absolutely. And the problem with speaking and listening is that we can hear and process information probably two times quicker than we can speak it. So as the listener, sometimes we have to slow down to really let the person express their ideas. And what do you do? I mean, I because I feel like there's been just so much tension. Mm -hmm. um, everything seems to end up in a debate anymore. Mm -hmm. So what do you do in those situations where you firmly believe your point of view, but you're hearing from somebody else? How do you listen with care and with curiosity while not being judgmental in all of that? So your convictions are your convictions. And of course, we, we can see how strong everybody's convictions are. Mm -hmm. And we want to just be right. Mm -hmm. But if we can take the time to really listen and ask questions out of curiosity of someone of an opposing view, we may learn the genesis of how it came to be their point of view. We right. may not agree right. with them, but we may get a deeper understanding. And that could really do a lot to heal some of the divisions we have in our country now. Right, it's not changing your own point of view. No, no, not it's at all. It's just understanding. I think that's beautifully said, Marlene. And then when we find some commonalities, then we can start to build on the commonalities rather than this is my point of view, I'm right, you're wrong, this is mm -hmm. why you're wrong, yeah. you know, and I make assumptions why you're wrong, you know. Right. Exactly. No, I mean, if we can understand each other, that's such a step forward. And I find myself right now listening to you far more carefully than, than I normally do, perhaps, because we're talking about this. Because right. sometimes I'm formulating the next question. Absolutely. And people do this in conversation, too. Like, you're already moving ahead, almost like thinking, well, what I have to say, what I'm going to do next is more important. It's not. Live in the moment, right? In the moment. And like I said, you can process information quicker by hearing, then you speak. So while you're processing that, formulating your idea or right. the next question, slow down, stop it and listen. Give them time, have yeah. some grace, take a breath, be in the moment. Have some grace. So right. yeah. we have talked about this before, that sometimes I, I feel like my mind is going mm -hmm. so fast that I'm making the grocery list right now mm -hmm. uh, and, and thinking about, oh, well, I have all these chores to do later. And I'm also listening to you at the same time. Some people also find themselves daydreaming or drifting off. How do you stay in that moment? Well, as soon as you recognize you're doing that, yeah. you come back and go, okay, I want to... I want to listen deeply to Heather and David. I want to look at them. I want to listen. I want to look at their body language and try to focus on it. And it is a skill, so it does take practice and training. But what a difference it would make in relationships because we all want to be heard. Right. And to be heard, someone has to listen. Yeah. And so often in relationships, too, people shut down whenever they don't hear immediately what they want and they quit listening. And then the understanding falls apart. And sometimes you just quit listening to placate and sort of end the conversation, and that's not so great either. Yeah. I've been listening and I learned a lot. <laughs> we did. Marlene, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Good conversation. Likewise. For more tips and tricks on listening to understand, you can go to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. We're going to have Marlene's information posted for you there.